Amen. Come on, thank God for this choir. Come on. Let's thank the Lord for this choir, them letting the Lord use them. Uh, today, we are so grateful uh, to be blessed in ministry by song. We honor the Lord today. We thank God for Jesus, his shed blood on the cross, his blood that washes and cleanses us from all of our sins. We are so glad that Jesus went to an old rugged cross. He hung, bled, and died that we might have the right to the tree of life. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Died, the Bible says. They put him in a borrowed tomb, but early Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hands. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds my future life is worth the living just because he lives. Got up from the grave, went back to his father. And one day he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. We'll be caught up to meet him in the air. And so shall we forever be with the Lord. Isn't that good news? That's good news. We do greet all of these preachers uh, and their spouses. God bless you today. And uh, to presiding elder Moore and sister Moore, God bless you. Uh, to mother Williams in her absence and to mother Bird, God bless you. And to the first lady of greater Bethel, Reverend Gloria Redden. Amen. If you're turning your Bibles to the gospel of St. Luke, the 19th chapter we want to use as our text that 40th verse 19 uh, St. Luke 19 and 40 let us pray father in the name of Jesus we come in God we just want to thank you for your word uh, we pray that you were so moved by your spirit save somebody today heal and deliver and carry somebody's heart today and we thank you uh, for signs and wonders that shall follow your word now lord let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight O oh, lord my strength and my redeemer let the people of god say amen and amen saint luke 19 and 40 and he answered and said unto them I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. I want to preach for a little while from the topic, they just couldn't help it. They just couldn't help it. Turn and tell your neighbor they just couldn't help it. Turn and tell somebody else they just couldn't help it. Come on, turn and tell one more person they just they just couldn't help it some of you may not believe but um uh, i have always been uh, kind of a quiet and laid back kind of guy uh, it's kind of hard to believe that god would call me to preach but i've always been shy always wanted to kind of hang in the background and not so much to be seen uh and uh, i just uh, just for the longest time uh, i was just that kind of way so when i accepted the lord jesus christ as my savior uh, even in worship i was still shy laid back uh and uh, just shy i didn't do a whole lot came uh, uh, to worship was steady in worship went to church every sunday uh, saved at bethel ame in baltimore and i was glad i was saved glad to be saved glad god saved my soul i was learning more and more about my god i was growing and discovering uh, what gifts uh, my god had given me i was falling more and more in love with god i was glad to be at bethel i enjoyed the worship service it was good worship y'all it was good worship uh, good singing good preaching uh, it was good worship and fellowship and uh, i i really i really just enjoyed being there i think it was there uh, that I discovered that uh, Sunday services shouldn't be a kind of a hit or miss kind of thing that we should always put our best foot forward every Sunday. We shouldn't just come in and go through the motions, uh, but we should, we should be all that we can be in God, not some Sundays, but every Sunday. 
I remember coming to church. I remember coming to church and enjoying a worship service. And I got a call, and that call was from my pastor's secretary letting me know that uh, my pastor, then Bishop Bryant, wanted to meet with me, John Bryant. I wanted to meet with me, and of course, whenever you get called into the pastor's office, you're kind of wondering what in the world is going on, and most times people want to know what did I do wrong, but it's not always that you did something wrong when the pastor's calling you into his office, and I got a call wanting uh, to meet with uh, Bishop Bryant, and I remember going in and being very nervous, and I can remember him saying to me, Morris, I see you. I see you in worship, I see you out there, and I, I really do believe that God has his hand on you, and I believe uh, that you're going to grow in God. I believe uh, that God has given you a good mind, and, and uh, I just believe that God's going to use you one day. Uh, but with all of that, he said to me, uh, but you don't do anything in worship. And I can remember my feelings being hurt because I really didn't understand what he meant. I enjoyed worship service, and I was there every Sunday, and I enjoyed the preaching. Uh, but he was saying to me that once I got there, I did not do anything. I never moved my hands. I never rocked from side to side. I just came to worship, and and while I enjoyed it, I, I really uh, didn't understand uh, that I was supposed to do some other things once I got there. And I know that, that, there, that there are those of you who were raised and grew up in churches that really didn't show a lot of emotion and enthusiasm in worship services. You grew up in church and it was quiet church and you came in and you had service and you went back out and there was not a lot of noise and it wasn't a lot of clapping and Lord knows I know it wasn't no preacher telling you to give your neighbor a high five. You weren't raised in that kind of church. I, I understand that there was no real outward expression with your mouth and your hands and your feet and I, I want you to really know today that I, I get it I understand it's okay not trying to embarrass anybody or make light of or put you down or call you out uh, but but one of the changes that I know in my lifetime uh, that church has gone through is that we've gone uh, from uh, being a, a kind of quiet church uh, to being an expressive church where we praise and worship our God. Where we open up our mouths and we wave our hands and we tell God thank you. Come on, rehearse that with me. Come on, just open up your mouth and tell the Lord thank you. We've come from that kind of church where we express our gratitude to our God. Where we just thank God for all that he's done for us. Where we remember uh, that God has truly been good to us. Uh, Psalm 107, Psalm 107, uh, verses 8, 15, and 21. Uh, it, it's mentioned three times in that psalm. The same verse mentioned three times in that in that whole psalm. Uh, uh, oh, that men would praise the Lord for his grace. Goodness. It's not that we just go through the motions when we praise God, but how many know that we praise God because God has been good to us? Any, anybody here know that God's been good to you? Uh, we, we praise Him because God has been good to us that psalm when it talks about Israel's travels through the wilderness it talks about Israel's journeys with God some up some down uh, some Israel being uh, 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 disobedient to God and God having to punish them but it also talks about uh, the great things that God did for Israel even in their disobedience God still blessed them and I wonder today if there's anybody here knows that sometimes God blessed you not when you were at your best but God blessed you when you were at the bottom of your life God did some things for you and, and the psalmist says three times all oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful 
works to the children of men hasn't god done some wonderful things in our lives come on come on give your neighbor a high five and say neighbor god has done some wonderful things in my life i, I don't know about you but but how many know that god has brought you from a mighty long way and so the song one of the great hymns of our church uh, says blessed assurance uh, jesus is mine oh what a foretaste of glory divine heir of salvation purchase of god born of his spirit washed in his blood here, here is the part this is my story this is my song i'm praising my savior all the day long come on come on shake somebody's hand and tell your neighbor i just got to praise the name of my god because you know we say it over and over again when i look back over my life and i think things over i can truly say that i've been blessed i've got a testimony i wonder today is there anybody here that has a testimony of the goodness and the greatness of an almighty god i wish you shake your neighbor's hand like you're gonna shake it off and say neighbor if it had not been for the lord who was on my side the enemy would have swallowed me up i'm just grateful i'm just grateful i can't help myself i try to be cool calm and collected but every time i think of the goodness of jesus and all he's done for me my soul cries out hallelujah thank god for saving me oh come on give your neighbor another high five and say neighbor come on help me today i know you're not used to it i know that's not in your character i know that's not your personality but if you know that you know that god's been good you why don't you just open up your mouth and tell god thank you for how good you've been to us ah the psalm says psalm 34 and 3 says i will bless the lord at all times oh come on y'all when i'm up i'm gonna bless god when i'm down I'm gonna bless my God when I have money in my pocket I'm gonna bless my God when I'm broke I'm gonna bless my God when I'm sick I'm gonna bless God and when I'm well I'm going to bless the name of my God I will bless the Lord and all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth my soul shall make her boast in the lord the humble shall hear thereof and be glad y'all know what i say when we look at the songs when we look at psalm 146 psalm 146 begins with praise ye the lord and one psalm 146 ends with praise ye the lord psalm 147 begins with praise ye the lord psalm 147 ends with praise ye the lord psalm 148 begins with praise ye the lord and it ends with praise ye the lord psalm 149 begins and ends with praise ye the lord but when we get to psalm 150 it begins with praise ye the lord but it ends with let everything that has breath praise the lord oh god i 
thank you. I, I wish I could get some praises in this house. Uh, uh, who don't mind lifting up your hands uh, and open up your mouth uh, and tell God I just want to thank you. Uh, I'm thanking you because uh, I still have some problems in my life. Uh, but I'm thanking you anyway uh, because you still been good to me. Uh, you still make a way for me. Uh, you still make a way out of no way. Uh, and I just come to tell you thank you. Uh, oh, come on. I wish I could get somebody uh, who's not used to praising the Lord. Uh, it ain't going to hurt you. Uh, just slip your hand in the air uh, and wave it like you just don't care. Uh, and tell the Lord uh, you've been too good to me uh, for me just to sit here uh, and not give you glory uh, and give you praise. Uh, how many know that God is worthy uh, uh, to be praised? Uh, uh, well, well, uh, my mother had a good friend uh, uh, and her and this friend uh, had this kind of debate. Uh, uh, you see, my mother uh, is holiness. Uh, you know, they believe in uh, speaking in tongues uh, and knocking over pews. Uh, you know, they, they believe in getting happy. Uh, you know, we call it shouting, getting happy. Uh, and she had a, a, a friend of hers uh, uh, who was uh, Methodist. Uh, and she felt uh, like all of that shouting uh, and getting happy uh, was unnecessary. Uh, uh, she said, well, uh, it's just emotionalism. Uh, and you know, some, some folk really feel that way. Uh, uh, that is just emotionalism uh, because they say uh, it don't take uh, all of that. Uh, uh, so it's just emotionalism. Uh, uh, and now that I'm a little older uh, and I know a little bit more than I used to know, uh, I declare uh, it's both. Uh, it's emotional, uh, uh, but it's also spiritual. Uh, uh, because I don't know. Uh, I really don't understand uh, how you can think about uh, how good God has been to you uh, and not get emotional. Uh, oh Lord, help me today. Uh, I've been to a basketball game or two in my life. Uh, and when they really want the team to do better. Huh? They put a sign up there huh? and the sign says huh? louder. Huh? Louder. Huh? Uh, well, huh? I want them to win so much huh? I start to show my emotion. Huh? But I'm here to tell you today huh? that when I think about how good God has been to me, huh? I ain't even talking about you. Huh? I'm talking about me. Huh? I get emotional. Huh? Lord, I thank you today. Huh? I just can't help myself. Huh? How many know that God huh? will make you emotional? Huh? Well, you can't help yourself huh? because huh? when you think about huh? what he's done for you, huh? you got to say to yourself, Lord, I just want to thank you. Have you ever had tears run down your eyes when you just think about the goodness of God? Have you ever started crying because God's just been good to you? Oh, can I get a witness here? Oh, when you know that God's been good to you, you get emotional. But not only is it emotional, huh? but it is spiritual. Huh? I declare it is, huh? because every now and then huh? I come into the house of the Lord huh? and I don't feel like huh? lifting my hands and I don't feel like huh? opening up my mouth and I don't feel like huh? giving God praise. Huh? But when I begin to think about huh? the goodness of my God and his spirit begins to well up on the inside I can't help myself I've got to wave my hands I've got to stomp my feet 
I've got to jump for joy because the Lord has been good to me. Oh Lord, help me today. I don't understand how you can dance for Sam Cook and Wilson Pickett and Otis Reddy and Tupac and Missy Elliott and Little Kim. Lord, help me today. And Pete Diddy. You could dance off of their stuff, but you can't move when you think about the goodness of an old Almighty God, Lord help me today, Lord help me today, y'all pray for me, I ain't always been saved all my life, oh God I just want to thank you, if you could dance for them, you can dance for God, if you can clap to them, you can clap for God, if you can sing for them, you can sing for God Lord help me today Let me move on oh, And I have a lot To praise God for I can praise him for my past I can praise him because I did some stuff in my past That should have killed me Or at least I should be as crazy As a big bug Can I get a witness here I praise him for my past That he saved me one day He got me out of trouble He saved me from danger He turned my life around He gave me Can I have a personal testimony? Let me tell you a personal testimony He gave me the best job In the whole wide world I'm just grateful today But not only Am I praising him for what he did in my past? I'm praising him for what he's doing for me right now. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, come on now. If you're here today, you ought to praise God If your mind works You ought to praise God If your eyes work You ought to praise God If your ears work You ought to praise God If your nose and mouth is working You ought to praise God If the teeth you have Or the teeth you have left still in your mouth You ought to praise God if you can swallow, you ought to praise God. If you've got blood moving through your body, you ought to praise God. If your arms work, you ought to praise God. If your hands are working, you ought to praise God. If your fingers work, you ought to praise God. If your legs work, you ought to praise God. If your knees are working, huh? hurting it all, huh? you ought to praise God, huh? if your ankles work, huh? you ought to praise the Lord, huh? if your feet are working, huh? they may be hurting, huh? but if they work, huh? you ought to praise God, huh? if your toes work, huh? you ought to praise God, huh? if your heart still beating, huh? oh come on y'all, huh? you ought to praise God, huh? if you heard the hymns today huh? and read the word today huh? you ought to praise God huh? if the choir blessed you today huh? you ought to praise God huh? if you're glad to be in the service huh? one more time huh? you ought to praise God huh? if you have blood moving through your veins huh? you ought to praise God huh? if you have blood moving through your arteries huh? you ought to praise God if you're breathing in and out, you ought to praise God. If you have a pulse, you ought to praise God. If you made it all week long to your destination and made it back to your home, you ought to give God praise. If you know that God has seen you through danger, see. 
seed and unseen. You ought to praise the Lord. If he made your enemies behave, you ought to praise the Lord. If you're not crazy and in a mental institution, you ought to praise God. If you know that God has brought you from a mighty long way, you ought to praise God. And if you know that he didn't bring you this far to leave you now, you ought to give God praise. If you have a roof over your head, clothes on your back, food in your refrigerator, you ought to praise God. If you've got food on the table, because the Bible says, let everything, oh come on y'all, let everything that has breath, praise the Lord, oh come on, help me out, come on, lift up those hands, and tell the Lord thank you, lift up those hands, and give God glory, how many know that God is a good God, and he's worthy to be praised, but not only do I thank him for how he's blessing me right now, oh Lord, I thank you Lord, how many know that every time you turn around, he keeps right on blessing you, I cannot get about 50 people to stand on your feet and just make one turn, I said every time I turn he keeps right on blessing my life oh, come on do it again every time I turn around he keeps right on blessing me Lord I just want to thank you well not only do I thank you for what he's doing right now but I want to thank him in advance because I know that the for me is still yet to come. Oh, come on now. How many know the best for you is still yet to come? How many know that God's not through with you yet? That God's going to do some greater things in your life. And if your enemy's mad at you now, if they're rolling their eyes at you now, wait till you get everything God has in store for you. Lord, I want to thank you. Turn that around for me. Turn that around for me. Well, the Bible says that here comes Jesus riding into Jerusalem on that donkey. The Bible says he's riding into a Jerusalem. And the Bible lets us know that as he's riding in, they take palm branches, they pull them down. And they throw them in the way. And the Bible says, the people cried out with a loud voice. They shouted out, Hosanna. Can you shout for me? I say, Hosanna. Come on, pick up your palm and wave your palm and shout, Hosanna. Come on, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Bible says that the people were so loud that the Pharisees said, Lord, rebuke your disciples. Tell them to shut up. But Jesus said, if these should hold their peace, the rock will cry out. Now if I shut up and if I be quiet, I'm going to wait for this rock to say something. But when I know about rocks, rocks can't talk because God hasn't done for a rock what he's done for me. Rocks can't praise God because God hasn't done for a rock what he's done for me. But when I think about what God has done for me, I can't shut up, I just can't help myself, I've got to open up my mouth, I've got to tell God thank you, and 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 thank you again, because God 
God, you brought us a mighty long way. Now, if you know God brought you a mighty long way, wave that palm and open up your mouth and tell God thank you. Give God glory because the God we serve is a good God. The God we serve is a great God and he's worthy to be praised. And I know I should hold my peace, but I can't help myself every time I think about how good God's been to me. I've got to wave my hand and tell God thank you. I've got to bless his name. Be worthy, worthy. Worthy to be praised. Come on, hug three people. Tell him he's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. three more people tell him he's just worthy today he's just worthy today I can't help it I can't help it he's just worthy today as we stand all over the church as we stand God has, God has, God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Come on, God has, God has smiled on me. He has, He has set me free. God has, God has, God has smiled on me. He's been good. He's been good. Come on, how many know that God's been good to you? Come on, come on, testify today. Come on, testify. Hasn't God been good? The old folks say he's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. He's just been good. I, I just want you to forget about yourself and just concentrate on the goodness of God. On me. He's been good to me. To me. Come on, God has. God has. God has. Smiled on me. He's been good. He has set me free. God has, God has smiled on me. God has smiled on me. He's been good. This altar call is for those who are still believing that even though three months have just been just about gone, three months. January, February, March, just about gone. This altar call is for those who still believe that before the year's out, God's going to do something magnificent in your life. If you believe that today, I want you to come right now. Excuse yourself. Come on down. Before the year's out, you're just believing that God's going to do something magnificent, spectacular, fantastic stupendous in your life come excuse yourself come on down come come on down God has gone smile 
me. Found me. He has set me free. He has set me free. God has. God has. Sing it again. God has, God has, God has found on me. He has set me free, set me free. telling you I don't mind telling you as much as I preach and try to encourage others the first three months of this year have been tough been tough I mean if it ain't one thing it's another been kind of tough on a brother and every Sunday I come and the Lord pushes me because he always reminds me that my job is to minister to you is to encourage you and I just believe as I encourage you he's pouring out blessings on me but it's been kind of tough been kind of tough you would think Bible study, Sunday school, past the church, he's got it made. Well, I want you to know, even with all of that, it's been kind of tough. But I believe that weeping may endure for a night. But joy does come in the morning. I believe that. I, I believe that. I also believe that April showers bring May flowers. <laughs> I'm a base. I, I used to watch baseball all the time. Baltimore Orioles and around April, you know, the season starts. And some of the games get rained out. And I can remember watching television talking about, I wish it wouldn't rain. I wish it stopped raining so I could, I could see my team play. But I know a little bit more now than I used to know that the rain that comes in April is for the flowers that are going to show up later. And I come to tell you today, it may be raining in your life, but it's only preparing the ground for the flowers that are about to come up. Oh yeah. The flowers going to come up. I looked out, you know, Peachtree Road, I looked out, and one day I saw the trees had already bloomed, almost out of nowhere. One day I didn't see a thing. The next day, I saw the trees blooming. And I want you to know that today you might not see anything, but tomorrow is a new day. It's a new day. I, 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 look, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to talk to you. Tomorrow is a new day. And just because you don't see it today doesn't mean that God isn't working some things out for you. But you've got to hang in there. And the one thing that you can never give up, you can't give up, you can't give up praising your God. Oh yeah, I, I'm praying that Greater Bethel would be a church where we learn to praise our way through. Not feeling like it, but I'm going to praise God anyhow. Not, not really up to it, down in my spirit. But it's something about coming into the house of the Lord. Opening up your mouth and raising your hands. And letting God minister to you. I, I come to tell you, when you minister to God, God will minister back to you. Oh yes he will, yes he will. Yes, it will. You, you, you know, you can't come in here and just say, well, I'm just going to wait for God to do something. No, you got to do something. 
in your party days you ain't wait for them to do nothing you say let's get this party started Had your liquor, needed to get a little oiled up, had your liquor, and then you didn't even, you weren't even worrying about who was around you, you just wanted, you just wanted to get your dance on. So you ought to come to church, and we don't drink the wine of the world, but we have new wine. The Holy Ghost is the wine. And when the Spirit of God moves in your heart, you've got to learn to just obey what He's telling you to do. If He, he says, wave your hand, wave your hand. If He says, shout, just go ahead and shout. Just do what the Holy Ghost is telling you to do. And I'm telling you, as you minister to God, God will minister back to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I'm believing three, three down, nine months to go. Do you know what happens in nine months? New life can happen in nine months. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Follow me now. Nine months. That's all it takes. Nine months. New life can happen for you. And I'm telling you where you are right now. In nine months, you'll look back at it. You say, Lord, I can't believe I was there in March. And look, Lord, look at me now. Look, look at me now. I'm believing. Come on, come on. There's power. Somebody talked about it in Sunday school. There's power in agreement in the two or three. That's why I always have you to hold the hand of your neighbor. Come on, take your neighbor's hand. And I want you to give that hand a little squeeze and thank God. Come on, thank God that in nine months they're going to have new life. God's going to turn it around in nine months. In nine months, God's going to turn it around. In nine months, you're going to be so far from where you are right now. In nine months, God can do that for you. God can do that for you. But you've got to make up in your mind you're not going to let nothing stop you. You're going to serve the Lord. Give him all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. Serve the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Give God your life. Turn your life over to him. And watch him do great things in your life. Come on, give that hand a little, little squeeze. Thanking God for the turnaround you're going to experience the turnaround that you're going to experience in your life. Thank God right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to thank you. For everything that you've already done. We, we don't want to be ungrateful children. We know we've made it this far. Because you have blessed us. So God, I just want to thank you. For what you've already done. But God, you, you are our Father. And you said we could call on you whenever we needed you. And God, we're calling on you right now. Because you know every circumstance. You know every situation. You know the beginning from the end. So God, right now, I'm asking you to intervene. In the name of Jesus. In the life of your people. God, you can do it. And we claim it right now. We claim it right now. And we're thanking you for the hand that we're holding right now. We just want to thank you for the hand that we're holding right now. God, thank you for the hand that we're holding right now. That hand almost gave up. That hand almost threw in the towel. That hand almost surrendered. But God, thank you for newfound strength today. We thank you that your word is true. They that wait upon you shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. God, help us to wait on you. 
we know that it's always darkest before the dawn but we know that the sun will shine in the name of Jesus God thank you we claim it today we believe it today we know it's already done right now we believe it's already taken care of we know it's already done in the name of Jesus God we just want to thank you now Lord as we leave this altar we're not leaving the same way that we came we're not going back home the same way we came but God as we leave this altar help us to leave every burden right here on this altar in the name of Jesus we thank you we thank you again thank you for breakthrough in the name of Jesus thank you for turn around in Jesus name amen amen and amen come on hug three people at least three people for the storm.